सिक्स्थ प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लोकस ऑफ पी इफ a equals to two comma three, b equals to two comma minus three, and p a plus p b is equal to eight. Now locus of P satisfying the condition P A plus P B is equal to eight. We have to find out. Solution. Now let this point is P X one comma Y one. Given points A two comma three. B two comma minus three. Here given condition, P A plus P B equals to eight. Take away P B third side. P A is equal to eight minus P B. Squaring on both sides. P A square equals to Eight minus P B square. So P A square equals to sixty four minus sixteen P B plus P B square. Bring minus sixteen P B this side. Take away P A square that side. Sixteen P B equals to sixty four plus P B square minus P A square. Sixty four plus P B square. P B square. Let us substitute. That is x one minus two whole square plus y one plus three whole square. And minus of p a square x one minus two square plus y one minus three whole square. This can be written sixty four plus x one minus two whole square plus y one plus three whole square. Minus x one minus two whole square minus y one minus three whole square. So now x one minus two whole square minus of x one minus two whole square gets cancelled. Sixty four plus value of this this one a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square that is four ab. So we get this is twelve y one. Sixteen P B equals to sixty four plus twelve Y one. Divide by four. We get four P B equals to sixteen plus three Y one. Squaring on both sides. Now we get sixteen P B square. Equals to sixteen plus three y one whole square. This equals to two fifty six plus sixteen into three forty eight into two fifty sixteen into three forty eight into two ninety six y one plus nine y one square. Let us replace P B square value. 
So, 16 times P B square means x 1 minus 2 square plus y 1 plus 3 whole square equals to 9 y 1 square plus 96 y 1 plus 256. Let us simplify. 16 times x 1 square minus 4 x 1 plus 4 y 1 square plus 6 y 1 plus 9 equals to 9 y 1 square plus 96 y 1 plus 256. 16 x square plus 16 y 1 square minus 64 x 1 plus 96 y 1 and 13 into 16. So, 18, so 13, 8, 2 not 8. So, now plus 2 not 8 equals to 9 y 1 square 96 y 1 plus 256. This 96 y 1, 96 y 1 gets cancelled. Bring 9 y 1 square 256 this side or take away 208 that side. So, 16 x 1 square, 16 y 1 square minus 9, 9 y 1 square, 7 y 1 square minus 64 x 1 equals to 256 minus 208. So, 256 minus 208. So, this is 8, this is 4, 48. So, 16 x 1 square plus 7 y 1 square minus 64 x 1 minus 48 equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the locus of P x 1 comma y 1 is 16 x square plus 7 y square minus 64 x minus 48 equals to 0. Seventh problem. A phi comma 3 and B 3 comma minus 2 are two fixed points. Find the equation of the locus of P of P so that so that the area of the triangle PAB is 9. Solution. Let us draw the triangle. Say this is P x 1 comma y 1 these two vertices are fixed. Say A phi comma 3, B 3 comma minus 2. Here given area of triangle PAB 
is equal to 9. 9 means 9 square units. This is half modulus of x1, 5, 3, again x1, y1, 3, minus 2, again y, equals to 9. Now, you just cross multiply like this. This is known as crisscross method. So, 2 goes that side, modulus of 3 x 1 minus 5 y 1 minus 10 minus 9 plus 3 y 1 and plus 2 x 1 equals to 18. 3 x 1 plus 2 x 1. This is mod 5 x 1, 2 y 1 minus 19 equals to 18. So, now we can write 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 19 equals to plus or minus 18 squaring on both sides. 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 19 square equals to 18 square. 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 19 square minus 18 square is equal to 0. It is in the form of a square minus b square. So, a plus b into a minus b. 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 19 plus 18 multiplied 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 19 minus 18 equals to 0. So, this we can write 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 1 multiplied by 5 x 1 minus 2 y 1 adding these two that is 37 but negative minus 37 equals to 0. Therefore, the equation to the locus of P x 1 comma y 1 is 5 x minus 2 y minus 1 multiplied by 5 x minus 2 y 5 x minus 2 y minus 37 equals to 0.